Hi everyone, welcome to the practical part of the course Deep Learning with GPU course. So we'll cover briefly the setup, how to clone the GitLab repository, how to configure your SSH connection, how to connect to the cluster. Secondly, we'll look at the setup on the cluster, so how to load any environment that you need to run a Python code, and also how to copy your data to and from the cluster. Thirdly, we'll look at how to execute the scripts. So I'll give you a brief slow introduction and I'll cover the commands as info, as run, and as batch. Lastly, we'll look at any other tips concerning monitoring and checkpointing. Most importantly, all the information that I've mentioned can be also found in the GitLab repository that we have for this session. This is the Deep Learning with GPU course. It's under my name, so it's like JMULO3 Deep Learning with GPU course. The repository is self-contained, so if you prefer reading to any audio or any video, you can also go through this yourself. Um, note that there are also diamond sections, and in these sections, we'll always give debugging help. So if you're stuck somewhere or if you're facing any issues, you can use those to your advantage. If it's the very first time on the cluster, I recommend that you also look at the other resources. I've specifically written an introduction article to anyone who has not worked on cluster before. You can also find it in the repository. It covers different aspects, so starting from the workflow to also how a node looks, what are um, the software and hardware, so, and also how is the connection between the software and the hardware. Moreover, I also uh, cover conceptually uh, what's on the cluster on the hardware and how it translates to the software aspect. So please get started here if you have not experience uh, with working on clusters. Secondly, if you're super experienced already, then you can already only look at the GPU documentation and any specifics of the NHR cluster. This is also linked. So you will find this in HLN doc display pub GPU usage. And the section you will find an overview of the cluster and also how to access a whole GPU and also how to access only slices of the GPUs. For the remainder of this tutorial, I will assume that you've already gotten an email, how to log in, and in this email there was a PDF attached, which is here, how to log in the cluster, and that you followed the step-by-step -step guide. So for the remainder, I will assume that you can already SSH into the cluster. Now I will show you how you can even facilitate the login. For this, let me open a shell. So I'm currently on a Mac and on this I have a hidden SSH uh, folder. And in this folder I have a config file where all my SSH keys go. So to show you the one that I will be using for Emmy, let me quickly display it here. You see that's the host name that you also should have, the glogin9. I'm the user in Zomar. For you it should be the BSET course account. And uh, the identity file that I produce is an SSH HLRN. The advantage of using this that is that I can also set the alias. This is a name that you can freely choose. So I chose HLRN ME. So if I use this one, I can only briefly use this command and don't have to provide any information on where it and my identity file would be located. So let's do this. Nice. I'm on the front end of the cluster. And on this front end, I could now go ahead and clone any repository that I want to clone or do any other setup. However, there's even a simpler option which you can use that requires that you put your SSH key into the SSH config file. So note that this is only a personal endorsement and not an official endorsement by the GVDG. I really like to use Visual Studio Code. It requires that you install the plugin for the Remote Explorer, and then it can automatically load the SSH config file into the system, which means right now I feel HLR and Emmy, and I can directly connect to this. 
this is super great because assuming that I've already cloned the repository, I can just open it, deep learn GPU course, and I'll see the whole content of this repository here. I can also get a terminal, which is displayed at the bottom. So if you don't see one, you can also click terminal, new terminal, and you should have it here. So right now I can make changes live on the cluster and the code will be synchronized automatically. Before running anything, however, I should make sure that I understand how these learn basics work because right now I'm only on the front end. If I run heavy computation on the front end, I will block access for everyone. How to get started with Slurm and how to get a setup of the rest, we'll cover in the next steps.